Hi everyone, I'm back in my building here, and today I want to be putting on something for my walls and my window here. So what I've picked out is this, um, it's a uh, satin oil-based polyurethane, and this will protect my walls, and it'll make it so that I can wash them, but for now I want to get it on my windows, my jams, my casing, so, uh, I'm going to be putting this on, and having it oil-based may give it a little extra color rather than just a clear, clear finish, and it won't really look any different. Um, I think the oil-based might give it a little more color, and the knots will pop out more. So, I'm going to try it, and so what I'm going to be using is a roller and a brush, the roller for the casing and the brush for the jam, and I'm going to show you a little trick. So like as you can see here on my roller, I have a little bit of dirt on it. And so what I do is what I learned from my dad is if you get some masking tape or um this uh this is pretty wide here, but if we rip off a piece like this and always make sure to bend the end of your tape roll over so you can get it started again. Um and what you do is you can just dab it onto the paint roller here and I can get all the dirt off. And see that guys it'll take it right off the roller for me so I'm gonna do that and get this roller clean okay so I got the roller pr pretty clean and look at how much dirt was on it so that works pretty well so I'm gonna get this poured out here and uh, let's see how it works I'm gonna use a paint stick to mix it because I don't want any air bubbles in the polyurethane you can do that with stain but I'm not gonna shake it so I'm gonna stir it and I'll show you guys Alright guys, so there's this locker lid I had to take off. It was this little ring that went over the top of this. I had to use some pliers there. But now, I can take my lid off. Ooh, it's pretty dark. Um, now I'm going to use my stick and I'm going to stir it. Alright guys, I mixed it and I'm going to pour out onto my tray. Okay, so it's kind of like this caramelish color. And uh, always remember to put your top back on. So, uh, let's try this out. Alright, I'm using this new brush here. And uh, this is a sash brush, so I can get in the corners nice. Like right here. And, uh, it is kind of clear. But it may turn a different color, I'm not sure. But I just want to do this so that I could, like, if I... I could, like, wash the wood, and uh, it'll kind of give it a protective coat in here, and um, it seals the wood. So uh, I'm going to put this on and uh, come back. I think I'm going to do two coats of this, um, but uh, it's kind of thick. It kind of reminds me of honey. It looks like honey. Um, but uh, let me get this on, and... Going on pretty nice. I'm going to do this for my whole building. And um, it'll protect the lumber. And it's definitely worth it. So. It was like 30 bucks for a gallon. That was like the cheapest I could find. And this is. Uh, I was thinking of going with polyacrylic. But this is a, a poly. Kind of stain in one. And. Uh, I don't know if you can guys if you guys can see it on camera, but it is kind of darkening. It's a little, it's a little uh, darker. We'll see after it dries, but uh, I'm gonna use that roller in a second. I'm gonna get all the uh, inside jam all the way around done. All right, guys, look at that color. It looks pretty nice. So now I got my roller here. I'm gonna use this for the casing. It's like the perfect width roller here. I'm going to roll this on all my casing. And uh, instantly it looks a lot better. It's pretty thick stuff so it looks like it's pretty nice product. 
We shall see though. And then uh, I'm going to do the top of the brush. And the outside here, I am not going to, I'm not going to, um, try to paint on the wall. So I'm going to use a straight edge and I'm going to lean it against the wall there so I don't get any stain on the wall yet because I'm not doing the wall right now and I don't want it to be darker. I want it, the color to match. So I'm going to do that, the wall later. And, uh. I'll do the side, and I want to get all the window um, jam and casing done on all my windows downstairs for right now. So uh, I'm going to keep rolling and get this window done. Okay guys, I used the straight edge, and what I did is I just leaned it against the wall here, and I painted this side of my casing. So now the whole window is done. It's a pretty nice color, don't you think? Um... That. So, uh, this is kind of a little more darker color, and I think it looks pretty nice. Um, as you can see, it's pretty sunny out. It's the warmest day we've had in a long time. It's 60 degrees, so uh, I'm not wearing a coat. I'm pretty happy about that. Spring's coming. All right, two windows done, two more to go. All 
All right, window number three is done. On to number four. All right, I'm doing the final, final side here. And uh, this will be my last window. So, uh, there we go. I'm done with my last window. And I think it looks pretty nice here. Um, I'm glad I went with the oil base because it gives it a little deeper color. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it, it's a pretty darn nice color. So, here's all my windows. And I painted I painted all of the I painted the apron board as well and I think it looks really nice. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna come back come back out another day. I might record and I'm gonna paint all my walls with this. Um I wanna get my ceiling on and I wanna get going on the ceiling. Um I think it looks pretty nice and it'll seal and protect the wood. So thanks for watching. This was a, a short little project and uh, I think it looks pretty nice. Alright, I want to show you guys how, how to clean up. So I just uh, used some paint thinner. Pour it in the pan here. And I want to clean the pan and I want to clean my brush because it's a brand new brush. And I don't want to get it all crappy. So I'm just going to get all this uh, residue off the pan here, I'll clean it, and then I'm going to wash it around and dump it, and I want to get these um, bristles nice and soft again, because that, that uh, stain is pretty sticky, it's like molasses, honey, it's like pretty thick, so you clean this out, and I'm going to go dump this outside, be right back. All right, so that paint thinner thinned that stain right out. So, um, so now I'm just gonna run the rag around the tray here. All right, our tray's clean. Now I'm gonna clean the brushes. All right, I got this little bucket here. I'm gonna pour some paint thinner in, and get our brush and our roller here. We we'll just slosh it around in here. Get all that crap out of the bristles, all that sticky stuff. This is a brand new brush. And, uh, the bristles are back to normal now. They're kind of stuck together. So we'll get our rag. Clean that off. And our brush is cleaned. And then our roller. Holds a lot of Stain. So I'm just going to drag it along the side here. Holds a lot in it. It's pretty wet. We'll get that cleaned out. Okay, so the camera shut off, but anyways, so now I got the clean roller, clean brush, clean tray, so that's just a little clean up. That was just a little project here in my building on this sunny day I wanted to do. I think it looks nice, richens the color, protects, seals the wood, and uh, 
So yeah, I'm going to do the walls later. I might get that on video. Um, I might need to buy a little more. But... Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.